everyone and welcome back to my channel where I share with you easy and delicious recipes as well as my love for all things Aldi and Trader Joe's. So if you are new here, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. Please go ahead and click that like and subscribe button if you like easy and delicious recipes or grocery hauls and you would like to see more videos like this one. So today I have another Aldi grocery haul for you all. On this grocery haul, I spent $104.40. So that's a little bit more than we generally spend on our weekly grocery haul. Um, we normally keep it around that $75 to $85 range, um, but sometimes it's a little higher depending on what we're getting. So I will get into it and show you everything we got along with the prices. Okay, so let's start on this side. I got some zucchini this week, just as a veggie. I'll probably throw that in with some of the pasta that we're making. Also got some more bananas. And then there's these two specialty flavors of the Clancy's kettle chips that are out. The last two weeks we tried the Cuban flavor, which is really good. I definitely recommend that. And so this week we decided to try the other flavor, which is Nashville hot chicken. So that will be interesting to see how that one tastes. And then we got some sliced mushrooms. These are going to go in with a beef stroganoff that we're making, as well as some more strawberries. I always love to get berries at Aldi because they're a lot cheaper than um, pretty much any other grocery store. I've seen the price. They're blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. Um, they have pretty much any different kind of berry that you would want. And then I got some mozzarella cheese. This is going to go in a crock pot baked ziti that we're going to be making. I got some wide egg noodles. These are going to go with the beef stroganoff. And then I got some more of the English muffins and those small biscuit ham slices to go on a copycat mc egg McMuffins that we've been making for like lunch or sometimes for breakfast for dinner. Um, we've been really enjoying those. And then behind these this produce I got some ricotta cheese that will go in the crock pot baked ziti. Some parmesan cheese will also go in that recipe and then the sour cream is for the beef stroganoff. And then back here, I got some LaCroix. I'm a big sparkling water fan, so I always pick up a large pack or case of LaCroix. Uh, if you love sparkling water, you need to try. This is the Lemoncello flavor. As you can see, I've already opened it, um, but that is one of my favorites. It tastes kind of like uh, lemonade, but you know, it's, it's not sweetened, so I guess it just has kind of like a hint flavor of like lemonade. And then I saw they had these little cans of Diet Coke at Aldi this week. Um, they don't always have this size. Normally they just have the regular size of cans in the 12 pack. Um, but I like, if I do get soda, I like to get just the small like seven and a half ounce cans. I'm not a big soda person, but every once in a while I like to get just a small six pack for a treat. Um, and if I do get soda, I usually go with Diet Coke or Diet Dr. Pepper are what I enjoy. Okay, and then I got this 12 pack of ice cream crunch bars. It's a vanilla ice cream with a chocolate coating, kind of just like a regular ice cream bar, and then it has crispy rice on the outside. Um, so I actually opened this last night and tried one, and they're pretty good. Um, I don't know that I would buy them again, but yeah, they're pretty decent, I think, for the price. I think I like the ice cream bars better that have like nuts on the outside. The crispy rice just wasn't doing it for me. So that was fun to try, but probably wouldn't get that again. Last week I tried the new Italian ice cream cups in the cappuccino flavor, and I talked about they had pistachio and a couple other flavors. And I would say those were also a miss as well. Um, there wasn't really anything in the ice cream. It was just the straight up ice cream. And it wasn't a, a buy again choice for me, but it was fun to try. I always like picking up products that I've not tried before and giving them a go. Okay, so then I got two gallons of 2% milk for my husband. 
And then we got some organic beef broth to go in our stroganoff. And then we picked up a two pound container of ground beef. We'll be using this in our baked ziti and also the beef stroganoff. And then a jar of pasta sauce to go in the baked ziti. And then I was out of a pure vanilla extract. I like to get the pure instead of the imitation. Um, and Aldi's has a good price on a two fluid ounce bottle. I think it's about five dollars in some sense So I'll make sure to post the price up there for you And then we got some treats as well. We picked up some of the regular M&Ms, which as you can see we've already broken into and Then just for something fun to try we picked up some of their chocolate frosted donuts I already had one this morning with some coffee and I dipped it in there and it got all melty um, and these are quite good they have a very strong classic donut flavor so if you are a donut lover those would be delicious to try and then this is our third week getting the peanut butter filled cookies which are a dupe of the Girl Scout uh, chocolate peanut butter patties and they taste exactly the same. Uh, these are 98 cents for the package. Actually, when the cashier rung them up, she was like, oh my goodness, that's why everybody is buying these. They're 98 cents. Um, and they're really good if you pop them in the fridge and they get kind of chilled. So that's just a tip to try. And then my husband really likes the fudge stripe cookies, so we picked up another package of those. And then this is the rigatoni we got for the crock pot baked ziti that I'm going to be making this week. And then my husband loves bars, so he picked up a couple boxes of the chewy fudge brownie mix to make just to have for a dessert. Um, as you can see, we love having some good dessert options to enjoy in the evening after dinner. And um, I like to eat intuitively, so it just is nice to have sweets around that I can feel like I can have a serving when I want, but um, I don't feel like I have to eat it all at once. So that's kind of how I like to do it. And then we got a couple frozen pizzas. I'm really excited to try this one. It is the Thin Crust Jalapeno Popper Pizza. And I love jalapeno poppers. I saw this on somebody's Instagram, I believe, and it says it is crust topped with creamy roasted garlic sauce, jalapeno and green peppers, green onion, mozzarella, cheddar cheeses, and breadcrumbs. So that will be good to try this week. And then we got this pizza again. We had this one <clears throat> last week. It is the rising crust three meat pizza. <clears throat> And Aldi has several different flavors of this Rising Crust pizza. It's Mama Cozy's brand, and they're like $3.50, I think. So that's a nice, easy dinner if you had a really busy day. Just throw it in the oven for like 23 minutes, and it was really good. As you can see, we bought it again. Okay, then we just picked up some orange juice, which we've already broken into for the week. And we also needed to restock our pure maple syrup. I like to get the 100% um, maple syrup to go on pancakes and waffles and breakfast sort of things. Um, I feel like once you have the pure maple syrup it's just hard to go back to the other stuff. It just tastes so good. Okay and then I got two more of these salad kits. Last week I had the sweet kale chopped salad with the uh, poppy seed dressing, dried cranberries, roasted pumpkin seeds, and a kind of mix of greens in there, and that was really good. And I also picked up the Southwest chopped salad, which I've had before. It has a Greek yogurt jalapeno dressing for a cheese blend and tortilla strips, which are a nice crunchy topping. And the dressing is a little spicy, so if you don't like spice at all, I would opt for maybe the sweet kale salad instead. So those will be good with lunches or anything this week. So then we got another package of string cheese just for snacks, a quick snack. Got another carton of eggs. And then I got a box of the Vitality cereal with fruit and yogurt, which is just like an off-brand of Special K for myself. And another uh, box of the Honey Crunch and Oats 
for my husband. And if you've watched before, you know that this is like Aldi's version of honey bunches and oats, and he likes to eat that for breakfast every week. So that is everything. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear what products you're interested in. So leave a comment down below if you saw anything that you would like to buy and try from Aldi's. Or if there are things that you enjoy getting that you would like to recommend to me. I would really love recommendations as well. I hope you're all staying safe and well out there and enjoying the start to spring that we are having. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!